everybody. This is your Texas official review. Bishop Brad coming to you for a different type of review, a Texas style review on one of my best cookies ever in the world. One of my favorite. I'm very, very proud of this company other than the fact that it's a limited run. So y'all need to run out to the grocery store and get you these. Look at these. I'm a big double stuff Oreo guy, boy. I love double stuff Oreo. Then they came out with the triple Oreo, and, and it wasn't what I was. I want triple the frosting, not triple the decker of the cookie or whatever that damn thing was. They have officially made the best Oreo cookie in the world. The limited edition mega stuff. Now let me pull out one of these cookies, boy. Let me show you what's going on here. I am so proud of them. Look at how thick that Oreo cookie is, boy. Look how thick that thing is. Look how thick they are. I am so proud of Oreo very much. I'm proud. Do they have a new president? I don't know who's ever in charge of that company. But to do an Oreo just like this, boy, I'd... I'd <clears throat> That's a lot of frosting, boy. You better run out to your local grocery store and find you the limited edition mega stuff and stock up or write the Oreo company. I need all the Oreo fans to write the company. I'm so proud of you, Oreo. On marketing, on artwork, on label. I give them a five. They got that damn thing down good, and it looks good. It's Oreo. Nabisco, baby. On flavor, five. I'd give it a four and a half, but you think I was holding back. On all around product for the mega stuff Oreo. Oreo, if you make your cookies like this, you will be the number one cookie in America. The cookie I've been waiting for them to make. This Bishop Brad Baby on y'all's Texas review for the Oreo Limited Edition. Stock up, boy. Bye bye.